we've, we've got to have these, these structures. We do need government one way, shape, or form. I'm going to go really fast. Um, from a science fiction background, I read a lot of stuff years ago, 2001, and it's happening today right, in our lifetime. Uh, personal communications, Dick Tracy, and then the tricorder, and now we've got the iPhone, right? So uh, everything I read about as a kid is, uh, is here today and moving faster, right? So we, we need to predict this, and we've got you know, some serious issues facing us, as everybody knows. Um, <laughs> so I also talked to some of these folks. Oh, oops, not working very well. Come on. I talked a little bit. That one didn't work very well. Anyway, I talk about punctuated equilibrium. I think we're in a, in a phase right now where we're, we're changing really rapidly, right? So that's going to drive a lot of just craziness. But, so we've got to have some structure around it, right? Um, I also have some tipping point slides, and then that's a problem when you use open source. <laughs> but anyway, um, but I love it. Um, so I, I talk about the paradox of the box from John Fullen Wider and XCIO. If you're thinking outside the box, it still means you're in the box. You've got to get out of the box. We talked about action here today, right? So that's part of it. And if you look across our history, at least in America, um, the density back east as we spread across the continents, different you know, metaphors, and then lastly the fact that so the physical structure of government, local government in particular in America today, is very archaic and almost irrelevant right? from a physical world standpoint. Um, so anybody know, real quick quiz, how many local government entities are there in the United States below the state level as of the Census of Governments 2007? Too many? <laughs> Not enough? <laughs> Almost 90,000. Cities, counties, special districts, talk about redundancy from an IT perspective, it's nuts, right? <laughs> California, just our history, all of our western counties, Father Unipera Sarah, right, 400 years ago. All the counties in the middle, gold rush, water, water rights and gold rush, right? So we're dealing with this archaic infrastructure that's built up over history, but we have the opportunity to change it. All the problems in California in the economic recession came from sprawl and expansion outside where we are. We're all glomming into these big cities, 23 uh, megapolitan areas, right? So uh, what, what does that mean? So we've built this nasty box that looks like the Winchester Mystery House. <laughs> that is my physical metaphor for IT architecture and local government. Right? It's a maintenance nightmare, right? So I, I go through this quiz when we talk about it, but that's really what it looks like, right? So where are we? There we go. So what does it mean? You know, you know we run out of money, now we've got to think. And it's easier to consolidate bits than atoms, right? So the dotted lines don't matter on the map anymore. Weather doesn't care about it. Crime doesn't care about it. Pollution doesn't care about it. How do we get together and do it? So Frank says, let's do a little better architecture. They're starting to do it in Canada with the uh, municipal reference model. We have nothing like this in the United States. Nothing. So we're trying to build up from cities into this smarter planet concept, again, using the architecture. And I love the Margaret Mead quotes because I like use them myself. Because uh, everybody says, oh, we're different. No, you're not. We're all the same, right? 90% of the stuff we do is the same. So I love the fact we're doing a lot of work in open data and open source. That's where I think the future is headed in local government. Uh, it's already happened in higher education. I can talk more about this than anybody that wants to know about it. I think gaming and simulation on a regional basis in regional clouds is where we're going to need to go. Right. So uh, there's your book, Jane. <laughs> and um, and I, well, actually, IBM has a serious games program manager. That was that lady's picture right there. So we got to get out of the box, folks. We're stuck. And we're, the demographics are actually operating in our favor, right? Because um, the, the kids are coming up. All the, the brain drain is happening. So we've got this transitional phase where we can really make a, a difference in how we do this stuff. And uh, based on Carlos Sapola's work of uh, the basic laws of human stupidity, I came up with this quadrant. So you can go research it. You guys are going to post these, right? And I'm done. Thank you very much.